So the last uh, batch of videos we talked about multiplying a binomial times a binomial. Uh, what we're going to look at now is what happens what happens here when we have more than two terms in one of our polynomials. Well, it turns out nothing changes. Now if you again learn that FOIL method, the aluminum FOIL method, uh, that only works for two terms and two terms. Uh, and so then it just completely falls flat. Uh, aluminum foil is okay for cooking some things, uh, but it's not okay for cooking uh, other things. Uh, I know sometimes when I've tried to cook like sausage or something on a on a grill, sometimes the the foil maybe doesn't always uh, work so great. Uh, but anyway, that's it, neither here nor there. So nothing changes. We're still going to take each thing in the first one times each thing in the second one. So we're going to take our two b times the b squared, the 3b, and the 7, and the minus 5 times the b squared, the 3b, and the 7. And so we start to do that. 2b and b squared will be 2b cubed. Uh, 2b times 3b will be 6b squared. And 2b times 7 will be 14b. Now we could continue writing these out in a line like we've done uh, previously. Um, but I'm going to actually make a small little adjustment to how I've been writing this down. Uh, because uh, instead of having just four terms like we did in the last few examples, we're actually going to have three more from the minus five. So as I multiply, what I'm going to actually do uh, to help me in simplifying it is I'm going to actually match my like terms up. So when I come down to the bottom there and do minus five times b squared, that's going to be minus five b squared. So I'm actually going to write that underneath its like term. That way I don't have to go back later on and search for my like terms. They'll be right there in front of me. And likewise, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15b. So again, I put that under its like term. And minus 5 times 7 is a minus 35. There are no number terms yet, so uh, we just go ahead and write that down. And then what we can do is we can just go through and add down, putting each of my like terms uh, together. Putting each of my like terms together. So there are no uh, other b cubed terms, so I just write down my 2b cubed. Then I do 6b squared minus 5b squared. That'll be 1b squared. And then 14b minus 15b will be minus 1b. And then minus 35 doesn't have anything to go with it. And so we have the answer 2b to the third plus 1b squared minus 1b minus 35. And so this idea of uh, lining up your like terms is something you can do just to help kind of keep things a little bit more sorted out. A little bit more sorted out. And that's important as you get bigger terms. Otherwise, you just have this big long string of things and it can be, you know, a little more confusing, a little more work to match up your like terms. But if you proactively uh, align your like terms as you're writing it down, then you'll uh, be able to keep the problem uh, a little bit straighter.